Welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about Selenium and how we can use it to automate our trading inside Webu. So Webu is an online trading brokerage that offers zero commission to the traders. It offers traders zero commissions for online stocks, ETF and options trades. In today's tutorial, we are going to automate the paper trading desktop platform for Webu. Even though we are using this on paper trading platform, the same can also be done for platform that is using real money. So if you are following along, you will need to register Webu so that you can access their paper trading platform. Basically, Selenium is used to automate some of the tasks inside the browser. It can mimic some of the tasks like clicking on some links or typing some values or words or strings into a search bar. Before you start, you will need to pip install Selenium and you also need to go to this website to download the Chrome driver. So you need to go, you need to go to help about Google Chrome to look at your Google Chrome version. So for my case, I'm version 83. So I will be downloading using this Chrome version 83 link. So once you download the file, you have to unzip it and you have to copy the file and place it inside inside a folder. But please be sure to download the path as it will be needed during the programming. In this tutorial, I will be going through the steps one by one. But in real life scenario, this is actually run all at the same time. So first and foremost, you have import Selenium and some of the other module. I will explain more about the rest of the modules uh, later on. You have to paste the path. So for my case, I paste the file inside the program file. Next, I will use, need to use the webdriver.chrome bracket path where the path is the place or the folder that you have your Chrome driver in. Next, we will use driver.get bracket, the website that you are going to you need to use. So for my case, I'm using Weibo, Weibo. So once you run this line of code, a browser will appear and it will automatically go to the web the site. So next, we will need to mimic the login method using Selenium. Next, we will need to inspect the element of, of this website. So right click your mouse and uh, choose inspect. So you will come up with this HTML uh, code that make up this website. Next, I will need you to right click the login button and choose inspect. So with that, you will see a highlighted row inside the sidebar. So the next thing I need you to do is to right click again on this particular row and choose copy and copy X path. So with that, I will need you to go to create a variable and let it equals to driver.find element by xpath. So pretty much for this entire tutorial, I will be using xpath, but you can find the elements by class, by ID or by name. But what I feel that is finding elements by the xpath is pretty much easier. So in this whole entire tutorial, I will be using xpath instead. So once we copy and paste the xpath into the brackets, we will need to use click underscore login dot click bracket. So this will actually mimic the click button on the website. So if I run this, you'll see that we actually click on the login button and we are actually going into the next screen. So this is the login page for the Webu. So for my case, because I'm using a mobile login, so I will right click the mobile and choose inspect. Same thing, I will copy the X path and paste it on the next line of code and let the variable be click mobile login. Same thing, driver.find element by X path and I will paste the X path into the bracket. And then I will click on this. So if you see, once I run this line of code, so once I run this line of code, I will be on the mobile login. Next, I will need to choose my country code. So similarly, press this, right click 
inspect, copy, copy XPath, paste it on the code, and run this. So you will see that I pretty much open up the, the bar and then I can choose my country code. For my case, I'm from Singapore, so I will need to find Singapore. So if let's say you are from the US, you will need to right click, inspect, copy, and then copy XPath. But for my case, because I'm from Singapore, so I will choose right click, inspect, and I would use copy, copy XPath. So I'll paste this here and click using click mobile login dot click. So, so if you look at it now, this is now at plus 65, which is the country code for my countries. Next, I'll need to key in my login number as well as my password. So similarly, we will go for inspect and copy the X path. And I will paste it here. And, but now the difference is because you need to key in your username because this is actually the login field and then you need to fill up this uh, particular field. So I will use click username dot send keys. And then I will key in my username. So my username is actually my phone number. But because I uh, do not want to review that here, so uh, what I will do is I will save it in another file. So I will name the file as username underscore password. And then I will be from username underscore password. I will import the username and password from the file. So I will key in username, password. But the thing is, it's also similar for password. You right click, inspect, copy. Copy X path, and then you will paste it and just click password variable and let it be driver dot find element by X path and paste it here. Similarly, you need to put dot send key and your password. So, but this case I wouldn't show you my window because it will show you my phone number. So right now it should be already entering your username and your password. So once you enter your username and your password, you will need to sign in, which is the similar. Right click, inspect, copy, XPath. So once we log in into the page, you'll notice that we are looking at this. So for me to get to the paper trading platform, I would need to go to trade which will enter another web page. So let's go to, let's press trade. So it's the same thing. Right click, inspect, copy, XPath. And then I will paste it on the page. So you notice you open up the another window. So to access the, the other window, we will need to change our handles because right now it's still concentrating on the previous window, which is this window. So in order for us to focus on the other window, we will need to choose, we will let handles equals to driver dot window underscore handles. So this is actually a list. So Handle zero refers to this, and then handle one refers to this. But because we want to switch from handle zero to handle one, we will use run this code. So it's driver dot switch to window, and we'll let it be handle square bracket one, which refers to the second window. So we'll run this. So right now we are looking at this second window, we our line of code will focus on the second window. So next, we because there's actually a pop-up page, 
that says the so there will be a pop-up inside the window that says about the latest release what's the latest release and uh, all this so we will need to click ok for it to proceed if not it won't continue so for that same thing we will go to inspect inspect copy copy xpath and then we will paste it here so once we click ok it will take us to the final screen so for our case we will need to click on paper trading same thing inspect copy copy xpath paste it here and then we will click dot click so if you will see from here we are now at the paper trade window so for my case because i'm using apple so i won't be changing this but if you want to change it to another stock you have just have to inspect copy copy xpath and then you have to dot send key to the name of your stock that you want to trade but because of my case i'm using apple stock so i won't be changing this so same thing for the rest so now we will choose our order type so there's limit as well as a uh, market order so for my case i would like to choose the market order so um since i want to choose market order i will go to the order type and uh, under the under the limit i will choose i will like right click inspect and uh, i will copy the x path and uh, i will paste it on the find underscore element by path and we'll paste if you look at this i would have now we have a choice between limit and market so right click market and uh, inspect copy copy x path again uh paste it here again then i will run dot click so right now i will be my order type will be market so right now i will need to choose the quantity same thing i will go to the quantity inspect copy copy xpath paste it inside the bracket and uh because i need to key in a number so for this case i will be choosing one so but if you are true, you can choose any other numbers. Just make sure that you key in your numbers here. So for my case, it will be one. So now I would like to choose whether I'm trying to buy or sell this stock. So if you are buying, you will go to right click, inspect, copy, copy X path. If you are selling, you inspect, copy, copy X path. So whether or not you are buying or selling, it is also dependent on uh, what your technical analysis or your machine learning algorithm tell you to do. You can have two different paths, like two different files. One is to for buying, and another file is for selling. But either way you copy and paste so for my case i will be using buying so i will paste the buying x path here and i will run it so lastly i will do right click on the paper tray inspect copy x path and uh, i will paste it inside the row but uh once I execute, it should it will fulfill the market order. So basically, this is the end of my tutorial. Um, in my next tutorial, I will show you how you can run it simultaneously. 
So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. If not, see you next time. Thank you.